You're still listening and watching The Big Talk. My name is Kanar Mgume and today on the show we are looking at a conversation around Mukono Municipality and the aspirants and uh, those that want to unseat Honorable Betty Nambo Zibachideke and what they want to do for the people of Mukono. Mukono Municipality has an estimated population at night of about 300 thousand people while during the day they get to at least half a million people and Mukono municipality is the main gateway to Uganda from the East African coast it is located on five hills with numerous valleys and wetlands and uh, well people who want to lead the people in Mukono those who are seated here are saying that the current leadership needs to change I have yeah. different aspirants right mm. from NRM Abbas <laughs> Sozi Seguja former youth councillor from Mukono Municipality on the NRM ticket between 2011 and 2016. I have the current mayor of Mukono. Uh, this is uh, also the chairperson of Democratic Party, George Fred Kajimu. Uh, he's also um, saying that he wants to unseat Betty Nambo Zibachideke. And also Ivan Sentongo from NUP. He will have to battle it out with uh, uh, Nambozi in primaries of NUP or they will have to seat and see who exactly will carry the flag in NUP but he says that he's capable and then on the other hand I have uh, the current spokesperson of uh, Democratic Party uh, uh, at, in Mukono and also former councillor, district councillor from Goma sub-county Zilmara Chigundu from Democratic Party. Well, let's also get to understand the issues of Mukono municipality. Yeah. You have been mayor and uh, many people say that some things are lacking. But first, before we go to the issues, yeah. let's look at the current um, you know, controversies around you and people power. And then Betty Nambuzo has just joined NOOP. <laughs> and and, and uh, you know, people yeah. have said that you're going to be backed by Honorable Robert Chaglanyi because you supported him you know, during all this yeah. uh, uh, and the formation of people power. So let's understand, yeah. where do you belong now? First of all, I'm very, very happy with the contribution that I made in, uh, in incorporating and in building uh, people power. Because at that time, we are going for a movement, a movement of change, and I stand for change. Uh, it's only recently that uh, people power uh, regenerated itself into a political party. And because it generated itself into a political party, and for me, I'm a DP. I couldn't go then to NOP, which is another political party. I'm just looking forward for an opportunity where the political parties will sit on the desk and at least come up with an alliance and maybe agree on a number of terms. So that is my position, and it's very, very clear with the people of NOP, and I hope that they will respect it and they will actually take into consideration the great contribution that I made in the building uh, NOOP before, when it was people power. Yeah, but you confuse the people when you print posters with the Democratic Party at the same time, uh, the logo of people power. I haven't printed the posters, and my posters... There are posters of you online. The, you my po these are not no, 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 no. Uh, that, those posters came out when we, we are still a DP people power. But the official posters that are going to come up, will be completely green and white, and I'm going to step there. The people of NOP will remember my contribution. We know that I'm still with the best past person <laughs> in, in the municipality, and they will vote me and even the other people. So that is are, are, the... Are you giving... Um, are, you, are you leaving your services as the coordinator of people power in Mukono? I've, I've already left that. So you and People Power have parted ways? Uh, me and uh, NOP, DP and uh, NOP, we are now working independently, and that is my <laughs> position. <laughs> and uh, apparently, by the way, I'm the chairperson, I'm the chairperson of DP, Mukono District. So I'm, I've got responsibility over my people of DP and the structure of DP, and also I'm um, I'm more responsible to working with all of them. So I cannot mix the things. Okay. So we Thanks can only clarity. come back if it's an, uh, an alliance. Okay, let's get to the issues of Mukono. Yes. Issues of infrastructure, health yes. services, and education. Uh, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's a very good opportunity that I'm here as a person who has been a mayor. 
and I, I know and I've got the experience and the knowledge of what is happening there. We need to understand that the budget of Mukono municipality is funded 12% by the local revenue, 88% by the central government. Mm. What does that mean? That the contribution from the government, if it's small, then you will not see meaningful change. And that's where we, and me personally, as a, as a George Kajimu, want to become an MOP, because as an MOP, I can influence and change those resources. The appropriation of the money that comes to the municipality is done in the parliament, or through lobbying. So if you are an MOP, then you need to get yourself very much involved to know what you need in the municipality, get your local leaders involved, get them to the appropriate offices, mm -hmm. and advocate for funding. The current MOP today, I must agree, is a person that has been repeating classes, but not gaining out of that experience to come up with a change. <laughs> Well, you, if this, you have, this is a person you supported during the re-election. This is a person that supported you during yes, your I'm election as yeah, yeah. mayor. You've been unfair to her. I'm not talking about like personality. I'm not talking about her personality. I'm only talking about the way she has been performing in respect of the demands and the needs of the municipality, that's so. Numbers have played an important role in, the, in your election in 2016 when you replaced Johnson Mianja yeah. Senyonga yes. uh, 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 as the municipal mayor. So you, you, you're being unfair or you're being dishonest. I, I, I entirely agree of each of us playing a role to support each other. Mm. Because <laughs> I wasn't an dormant person in the team. I actually contributed quite a lot, and she knows, for her win in the Mokoro municipality. Where so that is, not, that, is, that is not the, the The difference between the two of us is the political ideology, the how, we, how we handle things, especially for the people of Mokono. Mm. Personally, I'm, I'm accommodative uh, with the other leaders. I'm a person who identifies where can we have support and how can you use that support to come up with the development that will help our people? I, I don't discern meetings simply because those meetings are with the NRM and so on. If a meeting is going to bring value to my people, I will go into it as if it's an official meeting. So, for example, the, the district road funding committee meetings, personally, I've attended most of them. And when I'm unable to attend, at least my deputy mayor has been able to attend. I never see our MP there. That's where you can go and advocate for uh, sponsorship, for donations, for help, for more budget from the, the government. I've actually been playing that role as a mayor, but also playing the role of, as an MP. For example, you mentioned about a very, very bad road between the, the, the municipality and yes. towards UCU. I will tell you that my recent lobbying is going to see that road being done. That, the greatest part of that road is, is, is UNRWA, but it's a shame to have that bit of road in Mokono and it's affecting all the businesses. I've got good news for you that I've done the necessary lobbying and within about one month, that road is going to be worked upon. There are quite many other roads that I've worked on. There are quite a number of solutions that I've come up with, but I have been stepping into the, what a, a member of parliament would do to be able to achieve that. We need in Mokolo a person like me as a member of parliament and supporting very, very seriously the local leadership, and there we can actually make very big changes. There is no way why we miss the government projects like uh, at the junction of Kayunga Road. Wow. The government brings in like an 
9, 10 billion, and we lose it because it. somebody says this road shouldn't be done, these uh, mm -hmm. things shouldn't be changed, okay. it should be the way it will remain. So we need to do it the way guru people do it. Okay, thank you so much, uh, uh, Kajimu. Uh, let me move to you, Abbas Sozi, and um, want you to elaborate to the people of Mukono what you want to do for them, why they should give you an opportunity to go to parliament. Many people detest parliament and think parliament has become a house of making noise, a house of protests, and no longer function, that it is a, just rubber stamps what comes from the executive. So why do you want to go to such a parliament, and what sort of change are you going to bring to for Mukono? Yeah, thank you very much, Mugume. And that's where we go wrong. Uh, uh, you may realize the uh, Democratic Party that I would term uh, opposition in courts has been in power as far as Mukono municipality is concerned for 12 years now. Mm -hmm. But we, we always take audit what has it been done mm -hmm. for the 12 years. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm the one on the floor. No, 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 no. When, when you say... I'm, I'm the one no, on no, the when you say something wrong. I've been... No, 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 no. I, I, no, 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 no I think you should have... I, I, I think, so that you respond to it because... Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, my, my I, I friend. I think it's please. logical for a big man like okay. him I'm, to I'm, respect when somebody's on the floor. I think it's logical. If you go that way, I will also say you're a big man, but you say the state... The correct things. Yeah, it because, is true. because I'm the first uh, mayor is, of Democratic Party. I say that has been when, when not I say years. They have stayed in power. Yeah, they right. be inclusive. Yeah, you're right. I'm right. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm talking this. Yes. Be because when, yeah. when, when, yeah. when yeah. I'm the let's, first mayor. Let's, 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 let's be uh, let, him, let him correct let, that Mr. and Mr. then continue. He's trying to clarify what Mr. I was like you say like you said I was a youth councillor. In a government which was dominated by, 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 by the opposition, because we were 13 against 27. Who was the mayor? So the mayor was independent by then. <laughs> then it's not the mayor was independent. But for me, I, I, I talked 12 years, inclusive the membership of parliament mm. and all other councillor, councillor positions. But now, nothing has been tangible on the ground. Mukono municipality, it is the only municipality that that that's uh, a, a, a market facility which is actually on standard. We have seen municipalities like uh, like Lugazi, which had just attained a municipality status just five years ago. Yeah. Usmid is funding them with a modern market okay. facility. And we'll later put it to him because he said that he wants to create a model municipality Yes. Uh, when he was seeking yes. for the election yes. of mayorship. <laughs> yes. We'll put it to him on why that has not why? happened. I mean, so I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm probably too late for him. Instead of I doing a, a, a lot of lobbying, mm -hmm. Mukono municipality leaders, I will say leaders, because when I say mayor, he, he attacks me. I will say <laughs> leaders. <laughs> Mukono municipality <laughs> leaders do a lot of a, a, a lot of in, in fighting than lobby okay. <laughs> for, for the 10 years. So, Abbas I want to come in. One, I, I check myself that I'm the best siphon like, between the people of Mukono municipality <laughs> and the central government because we must appreciate that lobby is done, we must lobby from the central government. How can I be in parliament, at the floor of parliament, and I meet the means of works in the corridors of parliament, and I don't look for my people? Uh, May has talked about, my colleague has talked about the roads. Sure, Mukono municipality, it is the only municipality with the worst roads. Even the, 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 the roads that we do think they are tarmacked, you better use a Malam road than use the so-called tarmac roads of Mukono municipality. Mm. Check the road from Nasuti to, to, to Nakabago. It is worst. <laughs> he has said he has robbed two months uh, from now. We are going to see that road from uh, from 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 from, 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 from Council to, to university. To university. Mm. Being worked on. I want to assure you I can even prove evidence. They are feeling <laughs> as I talk, as I talk now. Putting Maram. They are putting Maram in the potholes. They have stopped a lot of malam at the district headquarters for that <laughs> long. So I don't know what procedure. Maybe they are first filling the potholes and, and then after the road. <laughs> and they walk the road. Yeah.
too late. It's, but it's he, too late. Do you know who are putting no, money? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. on the floor. I will explain. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so in this scenario, Mr. Kanel, when I become a member of parliament, I'm going to do a lot of lobbying that may be political. We lost, we lost a, uh, a project where they are going to put, the UNRWA was, uh, had given us a unique offer of putting uh, a flyover around the roundup at the junction, at the junction of Kayunga to, to Jinja. But because of politics. Call it bad politics. Yeah, because of bad politics of the so of uh, DP, I would say Democratic uh, Party, because these are the people in power. They have the member of parliament, at the same time they have the, <laughs> the mayor. They sabotage that project. Okay. And the balance which uh, the money which the union had offered to us is being used to construct a road, a tamaking a road from Nachifuma to Nagoje. So we lost that chance. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, Abbas. You've been quiet for a while, uh, Zirima. Let's get to you. As an aspirant for Mkono municipality, the infrastructure is lacking. And many people would want to know how you're going to work on that. But also the health services, especially when you look at, for example, the statistics of uh, uh, the pregnant mothers who face challenges uh, while they are going to give birth is also still high. How are you going to solve such challenges using your influence as a member of parliament? I, I think I don't need to draw more, more something about what I'm going to do on the infrastructure. I've stated it. I think those few uh, comments, I think, are enough. But now let me now shift to the health sector. Mm. Well, a cancer represented in Gomez County, I, I mean, I played some, some, some role in ensuring that the health services in Gomez County and the entire district are at least a bit upgraded. I, for instance, found Nyanja Health Center. I found it, uh, what is the right word, it's Furukwa. It was just something, a structure that was, I mean, abandoned. There was nothing being done, but it was being referred to as a proposed health center. So as a counselor, I lobbied. You can imagine that just as a mere counselor at the district level, I lobbied Dr. Tom Shabe, Chairman Damulira, then he was, and we managed to upgrade that abandoned uh, something into a health center too. As we talk now, there is a sitting uh, 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 nurse, I, mean, I don't know if to call him a doctor, but a sitting nurse, uh, pregnant mothers go and get services from there. But now the challenge is that they want to buy land for themselves because they are sitting tenants, they are Chibanja holders. What, what is the ratio of the uh, health workers per the population in Mukono? I may not have the facts because I, I need to go and make some, some more research. But I, what I was saying that I have in, in, in bid to ensure that at least health services are upgraded in the constituency. I cannot say I have done in the entire constituency, but I mean, just this is just an, an eye opener um, as just to show that I can do something. So I have pledged and I indeed have started paying 30 million shillings. None of them have ever done it. Not in the member of parliament, not even my chairman, DP, the mayor. But from my personal money, I have started paying 30 million shillings, and in the near future, some two, three months to come, I'm going to give them a land title. So I started that hospital. You're paying what? Paying 30 million shillings uh -huh. from my personal money uh -huh. to buy land for mm -hmm. that was speaking. So you're saying you're going to use your personal without finances? Have started, no, I'm not. Without our knowledge? Not that I'm going to use my personal You're using your personal finances. My personal, uh, my personal finances. That, that we cannot independently verify, but you're saying you, you're, you're, using your, verify, yes. you're, you're using your personal finances yes. to improve the lives of the people. Of the people. In, the health in, in for how long can you go on with that? Many people would think that you're doing it just because you can get into parliament. Immediately when you get to parliament, mm -hmm. they'll never hear from you. No, no, but I've been Are doing they? it, I've done it, even when I had not thought of becoming a member of parliament. Because, they, they, because I found that, that vandalized structure, those structures in 2001. Mm -hmm. I've, I've, now, I've, I've now started buying land in 2010. 
If you may so appreciate that during the COVID era, because I wanted to improve the lives of our people, eh, I sanitized me. They even, in fact, if you go to the Colombian spite, they called me Ziri Marachigudu sanitizer. They gave me that name. So I <laughs> stood with them. <laughs> they are stood with them. Are you, going to come are, are you continuing? I am continuing. Okay. Even up to now. <laughs> go to Mukere Health Center. Even pregnant mothers, they come with uh, containers and go with home. Uh, sanitizer. I give my liter, <laughs> three liters, because I want lives. Where do we tap from? I don't know. Let, let him know this story. <laughs> go on, go on. Let me just make my presentation. So I'm thinking that even when I'm not a member of parliament, there is a saying in Uganda uh, that what, in fact, it's a biblical uh, kind of an order, that what you call it the word, kumuti. <laughs> of this, they have done it from my meager resources as, a, yeah, as an individual. What, what will happen if I become a member of that? Okay. As my slogan is going to be, if at all I, uh, because we are tussling with my, 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 my colleague, chairman. my chairman in our tribe, <laughs> but I expect to, to, to beat him hands down. Oh. So when I, when I get the Democratic Party ticket, my uh, slogan is going to be. I have come to make a difference. There's so many issues, so many things that you can talk about that should have been done by our leaders that have not been done. Okay. And in fact, that's one of the reasons that our voters are, I mean, are frustrated. At times, even when you go to them, they will say, ah, Fesoko to which you want Because when you go, you don't do something meaningful mm -hmm. to us, you, you don't come back. So I've come to make a difference okay. in all sectors. Thank you, Zirima. Uh, yes. To you, Ivan Sentongo, one of the biggest challenges in Mukono is uh, land wrangles. And the land grabbers in Mukono are, have a big hand in, in terms of how land is uh, distributed and who sells to who and all that. And the authorities have actually failed completely. You can say that people are still struggling to make sure that their land is not grabbed. And when it is grabbed, it's very hard to even win a court case. How are you going to solve land wrangles in Mukono municipality? Thank you, Kanare. That's a very pertinent question to most people, not only in Mukono, but also in the country at large. The question of land wrangles is very rampant. But when you need to treat a wound, you need to digest, to, to understand, to diagonize the problem. The problem now is about the leadership in power. This is Sozi's government. <laughs> they have failed to manage such a simple task. We have a Ministry of Lands, we have land offices everywhere, but they deliberately grab our land because they are in power. And that is not good. And we've seen so many cases implicating most of his people in the government. And uh, I am not shy to say it is perpetuated by NRM people. I have least found a case of people from other opposition side grabbing land from the local community. Coming to the question, how do I want to help my people? When we, I become the area MP, I will make sure that there are systems. And the systems should work. When I say systems, we want to see a land office, whether it is digital, and the problem is fairness and equity and the rule of law. There is lawlessness. People grab, and when you go to court, you find a lot of mess, even it is being, you will find somebody because it's rich, is going to manipulate the judiciary. That's absurd, and this government is killing most of the systems. It is unfortunate you find the judges in cases. We can benchmark one case of the tra child trafficking to understand that who knows, even the land cases, the judges are. I don't want to speak ill about my judges or justice, but some cases which we read in the papers implicate that we need to do something about. Okay, okay, thank you so much. Um, as, as we fix your audio, let me get to uh, you, you Mayor. Uh, yes. In 2018, still on the land of issues, 
uh, land issues. In 2018, two ministers and government agencies were named and accused of grabbing acres of land belonging to the Church of Uganda in Mukono district. Yeah. And you were mayor yeah. when this land dispute in Intao yeah. Mzingo village in Mukono municipality, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the land that is part of uh, the church mm -hmm. and uh, under UCU holdings, measuring yeah. 649.2 acres yeah. was allegedly grabbed. It was under your leadership. What have you done to make sure that you solve land wrangles yeah. in Mukono? Uh, it's not on my, in my jacket as a mayor yeah. for that. I actually... But people is, look up to you. Of course. Because you have influence. For me, what I've done is to follow what is happening, who is the owner of the land, and what are the disputes in, me, in relating to that. The, the issue of land, and even in, in, in Tao, which you are talking about, is a question of implementation of the law. The laws are there. The laws are clear. So it's a question of implementation. The people that are supposed to implement are there. There is a, a, a commission completely on that matter. You've got ministers. You've got the, the judiciary. So the laws are there. You can't expect... A, a, a mayor to go now and get somebody maybe with a gun to, to, to implement something. Uganda has got to make a change. Yeah, but these and laws have been, have, been, have been existing and yes. have not helped the common man. Yeah, what I'm saying, the question that you're asking, mm. and as he has also responded, is beyond our level. It's at the level of the government to make sure that it actually uh, enforces implementation of those good laws of land that is there. Let me show you how so, it is on your level. Yeah. You are a legislator and therefore policy formulation is at the center of your work. Yes. And therefore you perhaps can say that I'm going to influence fellow members of parliament to change the land policies. Yeah. Maybe yeah. looking to I don't know, maybe 1979 <laughs> land decree by Idi Amin. Does that work? I don't know. That, but, that's what I'm telling you. For example, uh, I've, I've met my people. Mm. I've, I've, I've tried to dig what is the problem behind that. But the question still is a question of how our government is enforcing the laws on land. So mm -hmm. that's where the problem is. It's not uh, at the level of the local leadership. Mm. It's uh, actually at the central government uh, level. And even all these issues that we are getting, even the issue of uh, that happened in breaking the church, for example, in, in Indeba, how would you have expected, uh, for example, a mayor in that place to do something <laughs> about it? Mm. So we, it's a good reason a that good when ability. for us we go, for me, when I go to, to the parliament, that we need to enforce that. And we need also to see that the eradication of corruption is actually done, not, not talked about. When you say zero tolerance, you don't you see mean it. Uh, Uganda. You recently posted about 100 yes. million shillings to secure land lease. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Sorry, which one? Uh, the, the 100 million shillings that, uh, as Mukono municipality, you've you posted to secure the land lease. Uh, which one? No, I'm not, I'm not aware. Posted where? In, 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 uh, in June this year, mm. uh, ah, posted okay. a partial okay, payment of 100 million shillings okay, to the Kono Diocese. Okay, I understand. Uh, the offices of the municipality, yeah. when I came into government, our lease had expired. So because of that, we started negotiating to actually renew the lease. And the first uh, reaction we got from the Church of Uganda, we are not re renewing a lease for you because yeah. you have mismanaged the land. Mm. Not me, but the people who were there before. Because uh, look at Satellite Beach was part of that land. Look at the, the uh, Petro City was part of that land. Look at the land behind where you've got uh, Princess Gardens. We are part of that land. When I came into office, all those had gone. And possibly even where we are seated would have gone. But the lease had expired. So I took a very protracted uh, uh, process 
of renewing the lease. And I'm very, very happy because at least we managed to secure our offices. Otherwise, Mukono Municipality in the future wouldn't even have had offices. Okay. So that was a part payment for the renewal of the lease. Thank you. Uh, Abbasozi, I want you to also talk about land wrangles in uh, Mukono Municipality, but also waste management is of a great concern to the people of Mukono. How are we going to solve the two? Okay, thank you very much, Kanan. Uh, about the uh, uh, land, land grabbing and so on, maybe like my colleagues have said, it is actually beyond our control. But in Mukono Municipality, has two problems. Problem number one, the Bibanja against the, 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 the title holders. Uh, uh, problem number two, there are also problems between title holders and title holders. You see, being an urban place, mm. an urban area, there are those who go in the land office, they scan that this title, it is the names of, let's say, Kajimu George. Yeah. Then he gets the picture, a different picture, he puts it on the title, then collaborates with the ministry, I mean with the office of the lands. Then when you, you want to, to, to call out the transaction. Under whose supervision in that office? When, when, you, when you want to <laughs> call out transaction, you find, you find the title reads Kajimu George, but with a different, mm -hmm. A different mm -hmm. photo, mm -hmm. and then you go and pay. So we have I, two problems. Mr. Kanal, right right permit me to interject. I want to know how we are going to solve that when I become a member of parliament. I hope you used the friend Kajuma as an example. Because he's my next Because he's next to me. He's also your leader. With much respect. Now, how should that be solved? One. A, a, a lot of uh, laws regarding to land grabbing and so on have been passed and signed by the president. Mm. But the implementation is quite poor. For example, when you look at the, the grabbing and the fights of land between the so-called people you talked about and the, and, 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 the, and the locals and the community of Ontario, the community, uh, they are bona fide Bibanja holders. Mm. And the church is, is, is a bona fide land owner. So the difference between a, a Chibanja holder and a land, holder, a land owner, I think, should be clear. So that's where the problem comes in. And the Ministry of, I mean, the Office of Lands should also be audited and sh they should be like, they investigated because there is a problem there. And when I come, when I become a member of parliament, I'm going to put it at the front parliament to see uh, uh, the system through which, through which titles are checked, are scrutinized, is improved. Otherwise, there is a connivance between the, uh, the office and even the, 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 the grabbers. Mm. Then when it comes to garbage, one of the challenges we have in Mukono municipality is garbage. And there is also uh, a policy which I think should, do, should actually change. When I, come, uh, when I become a member of parliament, I advocate for at least change that policy. You see, garbage collection, the task belongs to the division. Mm. Yeah? And the, when you check the budget of the division, they cannot enable the division to collect garbage on a daily basis. So I think they, they, we should have a modification where the district, I mean, where the municipality also comes in. It doesn't stay at providing the vehicles and the trucks and so on and leave the, the task of collecting and paying the, the collectors of garbage to the division. Because when you go to Mukono uh, Central Division, you go to Chikoza, there, are, there is a lot of garbage. It is even rotting. <laughs> yeah. well, yesterday I passed there and I found, uh, I, I, I found two gentlemen collecting it as manure. Uh. Yeah. So can you just imagine locals collecting garbage in the center of, in of, the, of market. the In the market. And they are taking it as what? Manure. manure. And Rot. manure, we all are aware that when somebody calls Cholera. it manure, it is already rotting and it is, it is, it is composed. Chaos. 
So that's what I think. Okay. Uh, to you, no, no, you had concerns that you wanted to. Yes, I wanted to put something across. Uh, I want to start with him. He seems to be very conversant with the tricks in the land's office. That there's connivence, people are scanning, they that's are changing. What, yeah, that's what and that one is, is what under is. whose supervision? Is that office under anybody's supervision? And do we have any leadership structure in that office? Or from the ministry up to where you are explaining those mishaps, that's absurd. And that's why we want to come into power as a national unity platform. Those vices will stop. Then... How will you stop them? <laughs> the systems. We are going to, to have stringent systems where you cannot talk of bribing, where you cannot... Which systems? Because uh, the people who are, who are in national unity platform are not coming from Mars. They are within the same society where bribery and corruption we is rampant. We have established so which systems? particular core values that we are going to inculcate in our leadership. And this must show the real change of what is happening. We want to transform society by even the, the fabric of leadership from the top up to the grassroots. When he is a, a movement person coming into parliament and is attesting the, the challenges, the, the rotten systems, that's where we are going to start from. Our cadres in National Unity Platform will exhibit exemplary character where you cannot find somebody in the land office scanning somebody's title and the, then waste management, they give tenders to themselves. And then they cannot, if they have given themselves tenders and they cannot spend on trucks on what, they have subcontracted somebody, Mr. Soz is the, is the chairperson of LC5, he has contracted his company and then he doesn't spend the money to, to carry the, what do you expect? I'm okay. just giving I an want, example. I want, I want, I want, I want, I would have to pose An example. We'll begin from there after this short break. You're still listening and watching the big yeah. talk but, but, here on 106.1 <laughs> Next Radio and live on NBS Television. The first of this morning is of the aspirants of Mukono Municipality. Let's continue the conversation after this short commercial break.